All right, Brush Monkeys, welcome back. And this week we're continuing our Tombstone Build and Paint series with Virgil Earp. And I have, uh, I, as usual, I've got all his parts laid out here in front of me. I'm going to go ahead and highlight them. Go ahead and put the picture up there with the parts highlighted on there that you're going to need from the sprues. All right, and uh, as I was planning this out, I think the parts that I, I've got highlighted are going to work. The one thing I wanted to add on to was I didn't know what these little things were until I got the actual sprues in front of me and realized they're lawmen's badges. They're little star badges. And I thought this would be perfect uh, for that part in the movie where Virgil, played by Sam Elliott, decided he was going to become the new sheriff in town so um, I'm gonna go ahead after I build them I'm gonna tack on one of these little lawman badges to them and I think that's gonna be make a nice addition to them so uh, let's get our get our sprue right here I'm gonna go ahead and go through and cut off the pieces I need and then we'll come back and uh, see what I got all right see you soon all right, boys and girls, there is our Virgil Earp. This is Lawman Badge, Sheriff's Badge. Gun and done, guys, it's the OK Corral. Looking pretty good. Think he's ready to lay down the law. So I'm going to go ahead and prime him, and then we'll get to painting him. All right, see you soon. Bye. Alright Brush Monkeys, we're back and we've got uh, Virgil Earp here all uh, primered up and ready to go. Um, his outfit is going to be mostly black. This is the scene um, walking into the uh, OK Corral. So he was wearing black vest, black pants, black coat, whole nine yards. We're going to do it in several different colors of black of course. His boots will be black Templar, his coat will be uh, Thanos black. His vest is going to be um, probably Corvus black, and then we've got the uh, Vallejo game color black for his pants. His gun belt and holsters there are going to be snake bite leather. Uh, his skin, of course, is Gullman flesh. I've got Dawnstone out for his uh, beard here, and we're going to dry brush that with a little bit of um, Longbeard gray when we're done, because Sam Elliott's got kind of a, a light beard. Uh, I'm going to use the ivory for his uh, neckerchief there and probably give it a thin wash of Nuln oil just to kind of bring out the details. Speaking of which, um, we've got his sheriff's badge on there because this is after he took over as sheriff of Tombstone and after uh, Marshal Fred White was killed. So we're going to do his star in uh, path, this Pathfinder uh, Reaper, Pathfinder, Crusader Silver. And again, that's going to get a thin wash of Nuln oil just to bring those details out and make them pop. And then I'm going to give it a little dry brush of Necron compound. So his uh, Lawman badge should be nice and shiny. And uh, I think that's going to look really good. His hat, I think I'm going to go ahead and do in Thanos black along with his coat and give it a hat band of um, Corvus black. So it'll be, uh, it'll be good and differentiated. I think it's going to look really good. So I'm going to go ahead and pause here and get started on this guy, and then uh, we'll come back when I made some progress. All right, see you soon. Bye. All right, brush monkeys, I've made kind of a lot of progress on our guy here. Um, as you can see, I got the skin done, I got his beard painted, I got his uh, hat painted, his guns, his vest, his neckerchief, and his boots. <laughs> like I said, I got a lot done. All I got left really is his coat and his pants. And uh, details like the gun belt, the star, the washing, the hat band, washing the neckerchief, uh, the basing, all that kind of stuff. So, 
guys are really quick paint but it's all like tiny spaces so um, I did his boots and his guns in black Templar I'm gonna dry brush the guns with Necron compound and I'll do that after I paint the star um, I realized he was wearing kind of a dark gray hat in the in the pictures so I did his hat in the uh, Corvus black the same as his vest so it's like a really dark gray and then the hat band is going to be that Vallejo game color black um, I may do it in Thanos black the same as his coat and just make the two of them the same color so it kind of matches a little bit um, his pants are going to be Vallejo game color black his pistol belt and holsters there are going to be uh, the snake bite leather still but uh, yeah he's coming along pretty well I'm pretty happy with how he's looking so far um, I still got to dry brush his beard but it's a nice light color at least so uh, yeah so I'm gonna take a break and let that dry and then I'll come back and uh, finish the rest see you soon bye alright brush monkeys we got Virgil's coat and pants painted and the hat band and he's looking pretty good I'm really happy with how he's coming out obviously that's still wet because it's still really shiny most Vallejo game color kind of is shiny um, again army painter anti shine will knock that back uh, is what I'm relying on <laughs> uh, still have to do his gun belt and his uh, star and the little little details like the washing the neckerchief dry brushing the guns that kind of thing um, I'm going to give that a little while for the uh, pants to dry and then we'll go over the gun belt and holsters with uh, wraith bone before we do the snake bite leather that'll help make that leather really pop and then we'll uh, paint a star and then once the star dries we'll do the star and the neckerchief with a thin coat of null oil just to bring out the detail and then we'll go from there All right. so he's turning out pretty well I'm pretty happy with him so far I did dry brush his beard it looks a little I can't zoom in real well but you can tell it looks a little bit lighter now it's got uh, it's got that dry dry brush of uh, long beard gray just to bring out the details so so yeah I'm gonna let that dry and then uh, we'll come back and uh, get started on his on his gun holsters see you soon bye all right I'm back and I've got his star done his guns are dry brushed his neckerchief is washed although you can't tell really from on the camera the light kind of washes it out I've got his gun belt and holsters done and his base is based at least uh, the base coat on that um, I need to do the glue on his base and then the agrellin earth agrax earthshade tyrant skull dry brush etc etc but the basing is really all that's left to do on this guy so I think it looks pretty good I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pause here and let that uh, contrast paint on his gun belt and holsters dry and then uh, I think the next time you see this guy is gonna be completely done so um, yeah he's, he's coming along pretty good see you soon bye all right brush monkeys there's our finished Virgil Earp the new sheriff of Tombstone Arizona he looks pretty good pretty happy with how he came out accidentally went a little heavy on the weathering powders on his <laughs> on his legs just trying to get him on the base and it just kind of blew everywhere uh, but I think it came out okay it's not uh, it's not terrible it's not near as heavy as it was but I think it looks pretty good so I'm calling him done I'm gonna wrap up this video thanks for watching and join us next week we're gonna continue the tombstone series see you then bye Hey Brush Monkeys, Tom from Flying Monkey Studios here. If you like what you see, click like down below. If you want to be notified when new videos come out, go ahead and click subscribe. It's like over here somewhere, like there. Um, that'll Those will both help with my YouTube numbers and uh, bring me that much closer to monetizing this channel and being able to do what I love to do full time. Uh, if you want to get your hands on 
some of the miniatures I've painted here. Visit our Instagram and Tumblr pages. I post pictures of both of those on a regular basis. I post videos on TikTok on a regular basis. Um, mostly to direct traffic here to the YouTube channel, but you know, there's some other stuff there that's kind of cool. So go check that out. And if you want to show some love for your favorite uh, monkey based miniature painter, go check out our merch store at storefrontier.com slash flying monkey studios to get our t shirts, sweatshirts, long sleeve t shirts, um, can cozies, aprons, face masks. We've got all kinds of stuff there in a bunch of different colors, uh, including tie dye. We've got some tie dye shirts on there uh, if you want to check that out. So go check that out. Go check us out on our other social medias and follow us on Twitter for updates on the channel as well. And uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye.